Hey everybody, it's Natalie J. Evans, pediatric speech language pathologist with Puzzle Piece Kids. Last week we had a mom to drop by our Mesquite, Texas location. She saw us on the web and she decided to visit, which I'm so glad that she did. I got to sit down and talk to her about her two little ones that she'll be enrolling in therapy. Well, this mom has tried several ways to teach body parts because her kids are getting a little bit older and they should know them just for safety reasons. She's concerned that if they're sick, she won't know what's hurting them. So today's video is going to show you how to teach body parts three different ways. So our first way to teach body parts is by using our handy dandy trusty Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head has been around for a million years. I know I used to play with him as a child. So he'll probably be around for the next 50 years or more. Mr. Potato Head is fun to teach body parts because they're removable. You can take his arm off and show your child, here's his arm, show me your arm, which you'll probably have to let your kids know that their arms are not removable. So that's the only downfall of Mr. Potato Head. So eyes, nose, mouth, feet, hands, even I guess we can call this a tummy. <laughs> so Mr. Potato Head is always fun. The second way to teach body parts, and this is the actual the actual way that I taught my daughter her body part, using bandages. My daughter always had an ouchie all the time. So we taught body parts by putting bandages on the actual body part. So I would ask, Daisy, show me your hand. And she would show me her hand and I would put a bandage on it. So we did it two different ways. I checked to see how well she understood her body parts by asking, where is, and I named the body part, where are your hands? And she would show me hands. This is teaching her receptive language skills. She's answering my questions without using any words verbally. To test her verbal skills, I would ask her, what is this? And she would tell me, elbow. So we went through several boxes of bandages, but it was very, very fun and functional because she got it and she had lots of fun while doing it. The third way to teach body parts would be to sing a song, such as the hokey pokey. You put your right hand in, you take your right hand out, you put your left hand in, you put your left arm in, legs, your back, your head. You can put any body part in the circle that you would like or the traditional head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So you can make up songs. As long as the child is hearing the body part and touching it at the same time, they will be able to make that connection. So this is something that was discussed with the mom in our meeting last week. So hopefully it works for you. If you guys have any questions about your child's speech and language development or need more tips, you can email us at askandslp at puzzlepiecekids.com. You can drop by. We're located in Mesquite, Texas at 502 West Kearney Street, Suite 600, or you can give us a call, 972-288-5437. Lastly, you can always visit us on the web at www.puzzlepiecekids.com.